All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, yeah, I did make sure to remember to do a video this week. So uh, lucky all of you. So I think I'm going to be titling this uh, my position updates on crypto because I have now exited Litecoin. So hopefully that does not turn out to be a blunder, right? Especially since I waited so long for it to go up. Because every other coin has gone up 10x, 20x, 30x, except Litecoin. And I'm just getting fed up with waiting on it, you know. So uh, so that is the risk. Um, so I guess first things first is we'll deal with the fundamentals for today. And then uh, we'll go into the stuff here. Let me refresh that just to make sure. So... All right, so bond yields are going kind of insane right now, and it's all over the place. So let's take a look. Short-term debt, people are buying it. Medium-term debt, people are dumping it. And then the 10-year yield is going up a little bit. But then the very long-term debt is actually being bought. So this is actually kind of interesting. Yeah, so this is definitely looking like yield curve control by the Federal Reserve. You know, or money's just, and some money's probably exiting the market, bond market, to buy up crypto. Finally, glad to see Riot Blockchain finally doing something right for a change. And that's with 10 year yield going up, too. Um, let me refresh this, make sure this is correct. Yeah, so markets are down. Uh, crude oil's down, unfortunately. Um, yeah, because it's kind of interesting. They're trying all these tricks to prop up crude oil, it's not working. So the only thing that's left is really a giant oil spill, because that's what I'm saying, and then a uh, war of some kind. Uh, but I think people just don't want to do a war either. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to play out. Yeah, 10-year yield. So yeah, it was actually up a lot today, this morning, and then now it's actually coming down. So that's a good sign. And then, of course, Bitcoin's doing, uh, and crypto overall is doing very, very well. And yeah, there's Oracle and blah, 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 blah. So for the most part, uh, things should be going rippy mode. However, in the sh again, still the short term, you know, not doing too, uh, doing too much. Exxon Mobil's, I mean, Exxon Mobil's been so oversold. I mean, I'm not even checking the fundamental, uh, the technicals on that, but it should be pretty undersold at this point. And then of course, Bank of America doing well. So as usual, up a lot, down a lot, and then, you know, it's pretty much flat. You know, I guess that's how it goes. But again, my the the one I really care about is Riot. You know, because that's got that's where the vast majority of my stock market uh, call option money is in. It is in Riot. So Riot's not going to go way up until the stupid ten, until the stupid ten year yield comes down and then markets overall go up. So it's just a matter of waiting. So yeah, so the bond market looks pretty solid. So that's definitely got to be whatever. All right, so. Uh, I've traded my Litecoin away, so basically I'm now mostly in Cardano and VeChain. Um, and then my Filecoin position, I spent $13,000 when I was at like $52 per Filecoin. And I did, I wasn't even think, thinking that I was going to go up. I just wanted the interest rate at the time. And now I've basically made triple my money. Uh, unrealized, of course, uh, but I'll probably just sell it at the end of the year or something, unless it turns out that the bull market's going to continue well into next year, which is going to be very uncharted territory for everyone, because that's never happened before. It's also going to make me a lot more nervous, because am I really going to diamond hand millions of dollars and not take profit, thinking that it'll go up to tens of millions of dollars next year? I don't. I don't even think I'm gonna make that call. Even though, even if the, even if it looks like the markets will continue to keep going up, like I just may not. I'd be. I just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna take my three million and forego potential eighteen, twenty-one million dollars. I mean, it's gonna kick myself, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, uh, <laughs> I kind of need money, so. So anyway, uh, let's see, Bitcoin, yeah, 59K. So Binance Coin is basically stealing everyone's market share for the uh, Ethereum-like clones. So um, I'm, I'm guessing that's putting some pressure on Cardano. Uh, oh, right, so I'm in Cardano, I am in Filecoin, I am in VeChain mostly, and Engine Coin is somewhere around here. Uh... 
and I am an engine coin, which is actually pretty nice because I bought it at like 215 recently, and then now it's at 247. So whatever that profit is. So yeah, we're we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. But the big kicker really for me is obviously V chain because that's where I put like most of I shouldn't say most, but like 50 to 60 percent of my funds. Uh, so right now it's down 1.22 percent. Right now it's consolidated. I checked. I checked it beforehand. So one, so obviously what I don't want to see is everything goes up and then V chain just flatlines or worse goes down. So basically it's just like a over glorified, you know, XRP kind of thing. But uh, with that being said, I don't think V chain is going to have any problems with the SEC because right now the SEC is going berserk. They're like going after like fucking everybody. In fact, um, I even got an email from L library, L B R Y. Um, I don't use their site because I don't really trust them uh, because it's very tribe friendly. I'll put it that way. And when I see tribe friendly stuff on there, I get very suspicious because Texas recently deactivated their like gap account, the Texas GOP, uh, state party deactivate their gab account because it was too anti-semitic or whatever it's like it's free speech dumbass so you know then, then i get suspicious but that's just how it goes uh so anyway that's why i don't use library uh but yeah they, they got any, they sent me an email saying that the sec is going after them for you know unregistered securities or whatever so i didn't do that check at all at v chain i just simply took the red pill project's word for it uh, regarding this coin, but I think it should be fine. Um, I guess we should take a look right now, actually. Otherwise, I might have to uh, lose more money and go in, go into something else. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. So everything's pretty much going up, uh, relatively the same. Then I don't like it to see Litecoin go up and then VeChain go down or not go up as much, you know. So, but again, it's only just been one day, so I'll keep an eye out. Uh, let's see, yeah. Let's see. Uh, how did they actually? Let's see. It began in June 2016, so they've been around for a while. Okay. Oh, that's another thing too. So make sure you sign up at Exodus.com. It's free, obviously, and just use their wallet so you can get access to their exchange. This is what I'm using now. Uh, it's very good. It's very good, and I highly recommend buying a VPN. Um, in fact, is there an affiliate for the VPN that I use? Let me actually check because it would be nice to get some money off of that. Uh, you've got to have an affiliate program. Recruit and earn. Here we go. So they do have a. Uh, you earn more points. Log into my control panel. Yeah. So let me actually do that. Um, settings. Control panel. Let me see. Earn points by making your friend create an account through this link. Okay, great. All right, so, all right, so this is the, so I, so there's a lot of VPNs out there, private VPN, but this is the one that I find that's the best, that's also the cheapest, and I just get the 12-month plan, um, because if you're in New York, or even really the United States, you might have problems with the decentralized exchanges, so just pretend you're like you're in like, um, I don't know, Brazil. Or Japan or something. Some place where there's no restrictions and then just use this. Actually, what's their current pricing? Uh, oh, wow. By 12 months, you get an additional 12. Oh, wow. I, I didn't get that when they had that. But yeah, the best one is actually the 12 month plan because if you buy the one month plan, it's only, it's like 10 bucks a month. So you might as well just shell out, uh, Sixty dollars now and just get this thing for twelve months. That's way cheaper, all right? Because you're going to need a VPN for all this stuff. You're going to need a VPN in order to use the uh, exchange on 
uh, Exodus, and then just get all the coins that you want. Because that's where I'm getting my Cardano and um, V Chain, and then the, and Exodus is going to add more coins. Uh, and on top of that, they also have, are filing. Uh, they're filing to go public with the SEC as well, and this is the link to the SEC.gov site. So this thing is very, very legitimate, very legitimate. Uh, this is actually the... I wish I knew about this. Then I would never have ex bothered with any of the other freaking exchanges, which we'll still do because, you know, might still need it. So I'll make sure I'll put that link in the description somewhere so I can get some free months, you know, because, you know, I need to keep my costs low, you know, because that's what this is about. And it'd be a good way for all of you to help me out, because if you're going to spend money anyway, I would like a little bit of that to, you know, make some money with. All right, so let's see. Um, so here's the V-Chain, who are the founders? Okay. Let's see. V-Chain, token, SEC. I, want, I just want to see... Well, here's the thing. Here's a Reddit thread from Turner. Is V Chain a security? All right. Here's a much more updated one. Uh, once the space is going to arrive, here are some links to never go to. Okay, Aaron America, Uncle Sam. It's a utility. It's not. It does not pay a dividend. It produces a byproduct, which is a necessity to use the platform view the entire discussion actually right now it's an erc20 token with no utility 100 percent of security at this stage and not sure it can ever get away from that label as it started as an ico how is v chain not a security i think we need to balance this with as you see we can call it whatever we want but the is leaning towards the all that security based on their time to congress yeah It's deemed a utility. This is from three years ago. Why is this thing showing up as today? Uh, okay. God, this thing is just useless. Upon these synergies of virtual currencies. I don't know. This is an old thread, but this might be the only thing I could read. Um, yeah, because what I want to know is how did they raise... Because if it started as an ICO... Uh, from the venture. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Did they try to raise money? Now, be hard. It's still garage right now. Uh, well, I guess we could just find out. V chain ICO. Why don't we just type this in? I see a bench. Okay, I need to actually Bitcoin talk. I wonder if they ever tried this. Next billion dollar pound V chain. Okay. Uh, it's pumping now. Research worth. Uh, wait for your thoughts. Token sale. Dot V chain is a global. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Well, of course this thing's gonna be out. All right. All right. Ranking coin market only on coast of China. We know we know for a bit. I see all this product comes from Hong Kong. Not trying to invest me. Invest here. Okay. Alibaba's true event is gaining traction. It's announced. Da, 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 da. I think kind of, but they okay. That's interesting. So maybe that, so this could be a potential problem. So it does look like, yeah, because they deleted the thing, so. Your opinion V chain. So this could eventually get into the, tr into, into, 
Uh, Stevie, uh, Gasumi are surrounded over Shanghai's project. Oh, there are an underrated because only LA, it's worth it is worth it's generating at least one minute profit annually. PE, but, yeah. Well, we know that fundamentals, like fundamentals are still poor, but the valuations based on it are just out of whack because everything's being hyperinflated by the central banks. I mean, holding each and other line going the biggest bags really hope for. I can't see much info about the ICO, but there would be a pretty big incentive for them to hide this info. Because obviously they want to avoid the SEC scrutiny. There we go. The medium announced the first VHSL player that will be completed the VeChain Thor blockchain. What? The medium announced... Okay, what is this... Uh, it's designed to be used across a bunch of our days. It's basically back with emerging technology. VeChain's announced corporate partnerships with everybody. Rumors of partnerships between VeChain and BMW has been circulating around the company. Okay, VeChain rebranding. VeChain rebranded itself to VeChain Thor, a marketing stunt which has proved successful for many days. Recently, Railbox ran a to Nano, which ran a massive surge in token prices. Yeah, VeChain Thor has also announced a collaboration with Oxford University. Okay, and then going to use that to create... Okay, so VeChain ICO. The medium... Who's the medium? Announced the first VeChain ICO player with, that will be completed on the VeChain Thor blockchain. As with other upcoming products, VeChain is committed to provide its full support of VeChain stars to launch ICOs on their blockchain. This announced the start of the other partners being player and VeChain ICO incubation team, VeChain CEO, blah, blah, blah. Ah, okay. And there's an ICO private sale May 25th, 2018. Okay, so this is actually fine. They're not actually creating, they're, they are a platform to let other people do the ICO crap to deal with the SEC. But the VeChain itself is fine. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, they did not raise money for this. There could have been a token sale because it said token sale dot VeChain dot whatever. About 90% of the VeChain trades are on the Binance exchange. However, users have an operated by VeChain crypto on all these other exchanges. Unfortunately, if it is being developed by the project, you part of the uh, products running on the VeChain. Uh, VeChain roadmap is on the profit of the future improvements. Uh, basic smart contract. Okay. More use cases since May 2017. Yeah, these guys have been around for a while. So it does look like they might have done a token sale, but they didn't really do too much. Because they're letting other people... Uh, my god, where do I find this? Uh, proof of authority... Okay... I just hope none of these people are pedophiles. Because that would be... Very aggravating to me. And then you can add your own token. So basically, they're just competing against Ethereum. Yeah, so a lot of people are comp competing against Ethereum, which makes sense. Third-party wallets. And then of course, there's Exodus listed here. Um, I'm looking for a, an about. Wow, they even got rid of that, too. <laughs> They've got to have something here. All right, so I think it's still technically a risk. But it looks like they did a pretty good job basically uh, hiding and mitigating that risk. So uh, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. All right. So, assuming, so aside from that, they should do really well because they're already doing partnerships with big big companies. And they're generally based in China. Well, I don't know if they're based in China, but I know they're – no, they said they were based in Hong Kong, which is technically now China. So – and they've already had some good partnerships with other places and big companies. So they should do pretty well. I did read somewhere in the when we're doing now that I'm making this video, they did something about like an Alibaba rumor, but uh, uh, which one I'm looking for V Thor, uh, blah, blah blah blah. Yeah, so I guess we'll do one more thing. Alibaba V chain. So did that ever pan out? Yeah, they did. MasterCard and Alibaba are now using VeChain to track food and wine something. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually very good. So this should actually avoid scrutiny. Because 
they did this a long time ago. There's no mention of a token sale. I assume they did it for years. And they're letting other people launch ICOs on their blockchain. So they could just say, oh, yeah, we're a utility token for ICOs. Go ask them. You know, we're, we just maintain the blockchain. Right? And the SEC basically can't say shit. Also, it looks like they also raised money outside of the United States. So the SEC actually has no jurisdiction anyway. Uh, I will develop a platform based on the VeChain blockchain to authenticate and track the supply chain. Platform will use VeChain Thor blockchain to track products in MasterCard province as the transaction verification ledger. I don't need to read all this. What matters is people are using it to do supply chain tracking and management. Yeah, so this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. So VeChain is supposed to go over fee mode, but it's already position 20. So if it doubles in market cap, it'll shoot up to around position 13 or 14. That's not bad. If it triples in market cap, that puts it at 20 billion. Wait, what was it? No, 15 billion. That puts you at position eight. Hmm, and it's right underneath XRP. So really, uh, 30 billion, it should be above XRP, so 30 billion, so we're looking at six, five and a half, oh, it's 5.8 billion, so five, yeah, if it goes up 5x, yeah, that'd be pretty good, that'd be pretty good. Okay, uh, and what I like is it's also most of the supply for VeChain has already been issued too, so I don't have to worry too much about hyperinflation, so that's pretty much the gamble that I'm, I'm, I'm making. So in the short term, it might suck, especially right now. Because yesterday I thought I was a genius because the Litecoin went down and VeChain <laughs> basically went up. And then today it's the reverse. So and it's in a consolidation pattern. So we're just going to see uh, what happens with this. But if you want to get VeChain and Cardano, uh, exodus.com. Just get, just get it through here. Um, and then you have to buy the VPN from private VPN. I'll put a link. I mean, I don't even know if anyone's going to even use it. And then use that to access the exchange on Exodus because when you go to the exchange on Exodus, you know, dot com, your, your desktop wallet or your mobile wallet, it's going to say, uh, oh, it's not available in your New York state because I live in New York. Or it's not, it, I, it may even say it's not available in uh, United States because some exchanges out in the world because what exodus does is it takes all of the exchanges throughout the whole world and combine it automatically for you and then you just pull from all the things automatically so some and they track your ip so exodus just says they track they check your ip ex uh, and then like to hide that just use a vpn that's why you have to get the vpn um uh, and then yeah and then exodus also lists like a hundred other coins like they have a lot of good coins out there uni swap and i think they sell theta I'm not sure if they sell that. I didn't check, but I'm not interested in it. And they definitely sell AVE, A-A-V-E. But, you know, so for all you Ethereum heads out there, you know, really good. I don't like Ethereum. Like, my recent experience with it has really made me upset. And I don't, and I hate the fact that I still have to get it because DAI, D-A-I, is currently the highest yielding uh, interest cryptocurrency. So... The market cap on is only three billion, and it's paying out seven to fourteen percent AP uh, APY. But you have to use Ethereum to get it, and then you can also stake uh, Dai in Exodus, but they only pay you seven percent, so you're probably better off with DeFi Saver. So I don't know, but anyway, this video has been very long, twenty four minutes. Because mostly I was just looking up, uh, you know, did I make a mistake <laughs> in VeChain? Because I was so focused on getting it now before it spikes, before actually checking the things. But I think it should be okay. Yeah, Bitcoin is now 2.42%. Litecoin's almost 2%. Yeah, so VeChain better stop uh, stop screwing around here. Then Cardano. Yeah, Cardano is... Like, it keeps saying going up, like, a, by a percent or two, but still stuck at 120 or 121, so it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Anyway, I don't even feel like doing my outro, so just go do whatever, and then um, I'll see you all next week. This video is already way too long. Those are my position updates, so you can decide if you want to dump your Litecoin now and get into the new positions. Or just simply whittle it down, or just simply buy the crypto and just keep your Litecoin. That's probably not a bad strategy either. 
for me personally, I really want to go for the multi-million dollars this bull run. So I'm willing to take the gamble of trading my Litecoins away for VeChain. And the simple fact that fundamentally VeChain is actually working with everybody, including, I didn't even know they were working with Alibaba, um, uh, Alibaba and MasterCard. Granted, it's for like a small thing like food and wine exports. But that's just a test run. If it works really well, they're just going to keep doing more and more. So, you know, uh, it's looking pretty good. And the SEC stuff, eh, they I think I think as long as they made sure not to accept money from the Americans, they're they're totally fine. Because again, the SEC has no jurisdiction over there. It's only when you accept money from Americans and you're ICO, you're raising money, that's when the SEC gets mad at you because they actually have power over you. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> looks looks pretty good. All right. Um, yeah, that covers everything. So I will see you all next week or later after the markets. Um, hopefully Trovo is not resorting to banning people or censoring stuff. So I don't know. I guess we'll just uh, – where am I going? I will leave it on here. So, all right, I'll see you all next week uh, or later after, uh, in the stream, and thanks for watching.